Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Home Cooking Hunter and today I am showing all of you how to make some wild game Super Bowl snacks that are going to blow your friends and your family away at your Super Bowl parties. Guys, right now the first one we're going to do is some whitetail wontons. These things are awesome. They're crispy, they're delicious, and I'm going to show you all how to make them today. What we're going to do first guys, we got a pound of venison. Now what I do is I bleed out my venison. I find that takes away with those so-called earthy or gamey flavors that come with venison or wild game. This kind of pulls some of that out and you're never going to know what it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to brown this up first and then we're going to get to filling up our wontons. Let's go. So I've got my cast iron skillet over here, been preheating. We're just going to chop some of this up. So while this is browning guys, go ahead and get your oven to 350 because what we're going to do, we're going to throw these wontons in here for about five minutes. That's going to crisp them up so we make sure we don't have a soggy wonton. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Alright guys, so look, something that's super simple about this, all we're going to do this meat, we're just going to brown it. There's no seasoning to it, there's no salt, there's no pepper, nothing. Brown this sucker, drain it and then we're gonna let it cool. That's how simple this recipe is. Okay, so guys, now I just drained the whatever liquid was left inside here after browning it. We're gonna let this cool off just a little while while we prep all of our wonton wrappers. So what I got here, guys, is I've got a mini muffin tin. Uh, this is a great little thing. I, I don't make a lot of muffins, but I use this a lot for some of my recipes. And I bought some wonton wrappers right here at the grocery store. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little wonton wrapper and you gotta be careful not to tear them. And I'm just gonna drop it right here inside muffin tin. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put them all through here, get them all dropped in, and then we're gonna start assembling our mixture after we pop them in the oven for a few minutes. Okay, so that's the hardest part right there. That may be putting the filling in these things. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven for five minutes. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't wanna put this filling in here and have a soggy wonton. So we're going to crisp them up in just a little bit, then pull them back out, fill them up, and then finish the job back in the oven once we get everything done. So let's go crisp these bad boys up for five minutes. Okay guys, so now we got the meats cooled off, got the wontons preheating in the oven there. We're gonna lay this down. We're gonna begin mixing the mixture that's going inside the wonton. Guys, this is so freaking easy. And you're gonna look like a rock star when you bring them in too, because heck, it's a wonton, right? So all you're gonna need, one pound of venison, ground venison, eight ounces of shredded cheese, one pack of ranch dressing mix, one cup of sour cream, six slices of crumbled bacon, and a quarter cup of jalapenos. And mix. And just like that, we're ready. Pull the wontons out, and our mixture is done. Mmm, that's good. Alrighty there. Got the wontons. Got the hot plate, set it down right here. They got just enough crisp. So now we're gonna get a small spoon. This is a little tiny spoon here that I found in my drawer that we're gonna use to fill these up. But the small, smaller the spoon you got, the easier it's gonna be. We'll just take that. You're gonna have to use your fingers and stuff it down in there. Oh, that one messed up on us. Stuff that down in there. I want to try to work these back out. There we go. You see how that drawed up on us a little bit? Just pull it back apart and you'd be all right. All right, there we go. Got them all filled up. Mmm, licking my finger. I'm gonna throw these guys in the oven 
for about eight to 10 minutes or until the wontons gets a golden brown. We'll just toss them on in here, then all we gotta do is wait. Sounds like we're done here, guys. Let's pull out the, the wontons. Ooh, yeah, baby. Get a little golden brown. You see like a golden brown around the edges? Meat getting nice and cheesy on top there. That looks good. That's awesome. So guys, you, as you can tell, we still have some mixture left over. And what this, this is about 24 wontons. So these simple ingredients that I showed you, that's going to do about 72 of these delicious bad boys right here. So some simple, easy, inexpensive recipes, and you've got an awesome snack for all your friends at your Super Bowl party. So, I'm um, gonna we'll let this cool off just a couple minutes before I dive into it and tell you how it tastes. All right, I think they've cooled off enough. Hopefully, whenever I bite into this bad boy, I don't burn my mouth. So, whitetail wontons for your Super Bowl party. Mmm. Boom, baby! Boom, baby! If that ain't touched down, I don't know what it is. I don't even know if I'm fighting. If I dabbed right there, but man, that's good. White tail wontons, guys. These things are legit. If that ain't a touchdown, freaking I don't know what is. Now, stick around, guys, because we got one more recipe for our Super Bowl party extravaganza. Uh, we're doing the macho nachos. So when this video's over, jump over to the next one on Breaking Wild and check it out. Thanks, guys. Mmm.